Good afternoon, Jasper Nation. We're here with Coach Mazziello, and uh, we're going to be interviewing him for the first day of practice. So how do you feel like this season is going to go just from today's practice? Um, I think it was a good start. I was happy with the guys. Um, right at this time of year, it's not about – we don't really talk about – destinations we talk about just getting better every day you know people get consumed with mac championships or ncaa's um those are all destinations we just want to concentrate on getting better every day improving on a daily basis um and it's okay we're okay with mistakes um what we don't want to have is 52 mistakes today and then have 60 tomorrow you want to go from 52 to 50. um so we're fine with the mistakes our effort was great our communication was great so it was nice to have the team together um you know on this day and we just want to build from it awesome that's a great plan. <laughs> hopefully, so, hopefully it works. Right. <laughs> so Sammy Ucello is yeah. back. He's yeah. out for the last two years in yeah. the injury, right? How yeah. do you feel it, about you know, that? It was great. It was, um, it was a little surreal to actually see him on the court stretching before practice, and I just kind of looked over. I feel like he's going to be like a 28-year-old uh, sophomore. You know, <laughs> I feel like he's been around forever, but he's only really a freshman. It's, it's mm -hmm. kind of cool. Um, I'm just really happy for him. He's kind of battled so much adversity in his life off the court. Um, basketballs mean so much. So when you're talking about a kid who's an engineering major, who just is a is a phenomenal human being, and he's been tested in every way, and he just doesn't break. Um, and he came back from from a torn uh, meniscus, and now you know his knee was in bad shape. And he he's he's done a great job with the training staff and the doctors to get on this basketball court. So to see him perform and then practice today for two hours, um, it was almost a, a, a mini victory for us yeah and we're really happy we just want to build on that we don't want to do too much early it's a long year mm -hmm. but to have him out there uh today really was a, a great feeling not only for, for i'm sure for him but for everyone All right i'm sure wow that's a good story yeah. to tell right really is, we're excited. <laughs> coming back being yeah. an underdog yeah we're excited for him. so now the leadership uh yeah. this season is yeah. going to be from uh rich williams and tyler wilson what are you expecting out of them you know it, it, it's People normally say, well, it's the seniors who have to lead, and it is, but we have a, a nice group of upperclassmen. And one of the, I think, luxuries we had, I'm not into age as much as I am experience. Mm -hmm. And we have guys like Tom Capiano, Zane Waterman, Calvin Crawford, even Xavier Turner, who sat out last year. Tom Capiano probably played as many minutes as any freshman in the country. So he's not your typical sophomore right now. He, he's much more experienced. Obviously, people are going to turn to Rich and Tyler. They've won two MAC championships. They've been to two NCAAs. They know me better than anyone on this team, mm -hmm. so they know what I'm looking for. So I expect them to lead in that area, but there's so many different ways you can lead in different areas to lead, and whether it's work ethic, whether it's you know who talks the best, who has the best body language. So what we're trying to do is give each guy a piece to lead in, um, whether it's Z's taking care of all our guards and making sure we're, we're playing hard to have great body language, whether it's Zane Wardman with the bigs, making sure they're talking the most, whether it's Rich Williams making sure um, the way we run on and off the court, all these little things matter. And what it does, it gives everyone an investment in the program. So now they feel ownership, and that's what's important. You want your team to feel as if they – it's their program. It's not mine. Right. It's theirs. And that's something that's very important to us. And I think these guys are getting that. They have great attitudes, and we just want to build on that. Right. Seems like you have a great season ahead of you. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I want to stay healthy. That's the most important thing. Hopefully, we can do that. And if I can, uh, you know, get get Kevin Ross to follow our lead and do his job, I think we'll be fine. Right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Coach.